what's up guys how are you doing i'm here to gossip so on saturday the eighth edition of amvca just got concluded and we the unrequested maybe unqualified but unqualified sha you know it's my tongue um self-acclaimed fashion gossipers are out to give our take on some of what our celebrities wore and what they did not wear before now i heard like there's been some backlash as to people giving their unsolicited opinions on what some celebrities wore and some celebrities are saying like oh how much do you have in your pocket for you to think you are qualified to be a judge on what i wore if you're able to have about 100k to design this dress i'm wearing then you're qualified to talk but if your account is still empty well you're not qualified to talk guess what maybe my account is a little bit empty i'm gonna say talk anyways because it's my mouth so some of us might as well give our reviews okay <laughs> you just have to manage it uh, uh, uh. we love you all anyways because you're our content giver this season first off we have tiana's empire tiana wore a ballroom black um net like dress which to me in my personal opinion was good was wonderful was giving it you know but then at the second glance i now saw two horns looking like a bull horn mama why what happened i i'm trying to understand what was going on i mean like i really do understand the creative part i mean tiana is very she's a very creative designer and she takes a lot of risk and yeah but then like if it was the nigerian version of met gala maybe with a theme it should have maybe made a lot more sense but to the AMVC, I feel like it was a little out of place or majorly out of place. So I don't know, Mama. Why? What happened? Like, I loved the outfit and everything, the costume. I really did love it. But you would have just, but, but you would have just taken off the bullhorn. It's almost like you're telling us, meet you in hell. I'm going to meet you in hell. Look at my horns. Are your horns bigger than mine? Yeah, right, right here, man. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a place in hell. Mama, we ain't ready yet. I mean, heaven is a goal. I to it's an this. ultimate goal, mama. I really, 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 really wished the bullhorn was not there. Next on our list was Pretty Mike. His costume was also designed by Tiana's Empire. And it was just this all black priest like overall outfit which was good except for the goat what happened what's going on why the goat like what message are you trying to preach like you should have just preached on is it like a situation where abraham took a ram to the altar to slaughter you know the story what was going on what is going on there was a whole black something going on all this wonderful outfits all this wonderful costume creative but <laughs> really why why did you bring goats on the red carpet really what are you trying to say i i'm trying to go through your mind to understand the relationship between your costume and the goat like i mean the costume was okay the sort of like priest like like priest of the dark world kind of vibe 
scary you know all the vampire feel kind of something going on there I get the message was it suited for the AMVCA maybe not like then again like in the case of Tiana Mama Tiana I felt like it would have been good for a more very 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 art oriented kind of events like the Met Galas maybe the Nigerian version of Met Gala but for this why nigger thing but just help me explain you know sometimes there is a story behind a costume maybe you have a story and that story is gonna make your costume very amazing but then I didn't get it and next was Ifwe Nada still designed by Tiana same the skull and all of that going on I think it's a little too much for the event not that it's too much but it's 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 it doesn't feel fitted for the event it was just this black something going on with Tiana and her inspiration it's like I want to make it a dark night for all my creatives for all my fellow compatriots in the industry so most of her designs were about black 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 skull bull like a dreaded deadly kind of feel she was trying to give the vibe um it's really really to be honest it's really creative i love the creative aspect of it because it's not something you can easily just put together that took a lot i'm sure it should have taken a lot of time energy and thought um for that design for the various designs she created to come to life but then it's rather bad that but then it's doesn't feel well fitted for the event for example the score outfit worn by if nada if it was something like um a halloween i feel like that would have been appropriate a halloween you know but anyways it's not it wasn't all that bad for example um timini's outfit was designed still by tiana i really loved it i love the suit i love the irish kind of vibe it gave and the color mix with gold and everything it was giving what it was supposed to give then also we have derrily Tian also designed his outfit. It was just this Nepa situation going on. I know we don't really have constant electricity in Nigeria, but did you really have to make it go global? We're trying to hide pickles, you know. But then he just exposed us to the world because they really came to the red carpet of the EMVCAs with Nepa light. All over his body and I was sort of scared like I don't want this thing falling on him and him hurting himself like what's all this what's going on wasn't there a better way to express your dissatisfaction of what is going on in Nigeria mm -hmm. was it a platform to come and complain yeah, right, right, mm -hmm. yeah, I thought man. you were out there to enjoy yourself and not just worry about the Nigerian situation but obviously <laughs> They really wanted to remind us that this is Nigeria where <laughs> nothing seems to be what it is anyways that's it generally overall I feel like they were very artistic which is what I liked also Tiana designed um, brother Shaggy's dress obviously he was one of the winners of the night I loved his outfit it was simple it was um, straightforward it suited him very well I loved how his personality shone through the outfit that is for me <laughs> don't ask me how but that was the kind of vibe I was getting and I really did like it next we had Funke Akindele coming through for us I really loved her outfit it was styled by her um, it's an all green 
for a fact I'm not totally a lover of green but I really did like this outfit and the leg it was just giving all the vibe and wow can you look at the picture the smile and there's just this leg thing going on which I really did like and then one shoulder something something I really love how the dress fits on her and it's really amazing I really did like this dress next on our list is Maria Chike so Maria wore this dark red wine kind of floral something going on there and guys it's actually the smile for me I loved love I loved this outfit it was giving vibes it was giving goodness it was giving there was just a breath of fresh air going on there and the way she carried herself in the dress was really interesting I loved love love everything about this dress we have at this one on the list guys so I really do not have a lot to say about this it was giving me just the basic vibe but then at this one I'm sure she'll probably be like I'm not here to please you boo I'm here to please me and I cannot come and key myself because of you so whatever I wear just take it and it was just simple and yeah we have Alex Ekubo so I was really honestly looking forward to more from Alex you know more vibe more spice more sauce more more sauce and more hotness but this was just too basic it was almost like he was going for a wedding what happened what really happened is it that bad are you really that angry with us that you do not want to give us food to eat i hope this most of our celebrities understand that we look forward to this event because we know it's a once in a year kind of something and this is a situation where we get to feed our eyes and our minds so when you come we are expecting that you give us something enough content to talk about and this is alexia just literally maybe saying oh girl i just want to go for an event maybe i think i went for a wedding party so right now i'm just gonna leave this wedding party and come for the amvcas is that fair alex mr alex you know i like you i honestly do like you but the outfit wasn't bad to say it was just normal simple let's go get it done and get going next is grace bassi so i don't know there's just something about pink that does not resonate quite well with me it's personal i love that she puts a whole lot of effort in this dress but it wasn't given exactly what it was supposed to give for me it is for me don't come and say i'm talking for myself you talk for your own self okay so i feel like it wasn't given it was too there was just pink everywhere sort of like it i get maybe it's a princess kind of vibe or something she wants to pull out there but it wasn't really working quite well for me next is bisola so bisola wore two outfits she did the first entrance and she changed into another so i liked the one and i really did not like the other i did like the yellow gown with puffed sleeve Sort of like a net like see through yellow with something going on i liked it i like the color of the dress there are different kinds of simple so this was like sort of simple chic elegant kind of vibe and i love the color on her it really suited her quite well but then moving over to the second which is red i didn't really and i um, wasn't too thrilled not like there's something wrong with the dress i love the jumpsuit with the train at the back of it and all of that but it wasn't as compared to the yellow it wasn't given that ta 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 kind of feel so i was looking for that punch line where there just this ta ah to ah to ooh, oh wow that wow kind of expression that it was that that is what i wasn't getting from the red outfit but overall it was okay nothing too wrong about it okay next we have bonang i really love maybe it's just a photo but i love this it was given an angelic can you see that color combination there's just this light 
pinkish whitish kind of mixed element going on together and the picture she tilting her head upward and be like god i'm ready for you now take me i've done my best i fought a good fight i've done my best i fought a good fight i ran a good race it's time for me to say hello to you it was just so heavenly i loved 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 her outfit i love it the next on our list is Denary Gray. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. I loved it. He always comes through. He knows what he's doing. I loved the coffee brown and the whole kind of lace like embellishment, giving a kind of Scottish feel to it. It twists, touch, turn. That makes me feel like, ow, like, yeah. That was the feeling I was getting like meow <laughs> and I loved it I loved it I loved it next we have day and me his outfit um, normal basic nothing too extraordinary thank you next we have Ebuka. I'm gonna spend a little time on Ebuka because I'm angry Ebuka, you make me vex I vex for you I vexed for you well well because I was expecting so I was literally sitting and looking at my TV and waiting for Ebuka to show himself up because he never misses it so why what happened who are you angry with did we offend you I mean I can apologize on behalf of everyone if we did why why, why did you punish us like this do you know how much I longed to see what you're going to wear and it just came out with this blue light blue sky blue kind of something all blue blue it's unlike you like what happened are you vexing for someone are you vexing i apologize please please have mercy now sorry can someone not offend you even small it just vex and just change everything for us this outfit was not given. Next, we have Efa. Oh, wow. The next, we have Eniola. Oh, God bless this woman. I love this outfit. I loved, you know, the effort she has put to come this far. You know, it's really when you see someone making a decision, going the extra mile just to, you know, look a certain way because it's for them and not because of us here. I really did like it you know I really like the stress it suits her quite well and hugging all the places that are supposed to be huggable and showing us giving us what it's supposed to give I like it I like it mama keep it up mama we like it we say continue go on we are strongly behind you we are in support of you okay next on my list is a team if young i loved love loved this outfit it's cool it was simple but what made it classic was just that um cross like something off the shoulder kind of twist and turn and those are the things that makes it different it doesn't really have to be too much sometimes just a little is just enough next on the list is ik ik papa ik papi i loved what you did here you did not disappoint me ha -ha. Come on, look at man now. See you, you yourself. Look at man, eh? Gallant, cool, okay. Set with good outfits on AMVC. Ah, uh -uh, what else? What else are we waiting for now? You tell me. He gave it to us like it was supposed to give. We saw it, we acknowledge it. And you say, well done, you did well. I love this outfit. It's artistic, it's simple yet classic. It is it is chic. It is it is vibes. It's so refreshing. I feel refreshed just looking at this outfit. I like everything about this outfit. Thank you. Next on our list is Juliet Ibrahim. Nothing too much to say. It's okay, we've seen it before. You did well, thank you, Mama. We also have Mary Lazarus. I loved this dress. This yellow suits quite well. 
the clothes was hugging all the places that were supposed to be hugged at the right time and in the right moment to capture just the best picture and the smile and I love the fact that her hair was tilted backward just for us to have a good view at her face and this just made the whole look come together pretty well the hair to the makeup to the color of the dress to the styling and everything I really did like it balance the equation is balanced next on our list is Meg Meg wore this black asymmetrical long dress with this whole twist and turns in styles around it which all came together pretty well and also the head was doing justice to the look because i could look at her face and just look at the outfit and everything fitted quite well in the right proportion i really did like this outfit next on the list is messy um, i don't really have too much to say about this dress Being paid. her dress was designed by Tiana again I don't really have something to say because I feel like about Tiana's design in this year's AMVC there was a mission and I feel like she accomplished it but did we accomplish our own mission that's what I cannot answer <laughs> but you did see the outfit for yourself you tell me what you think because for me it was a nah no 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 okay next next we have Nengi Pengi. I really did like her outfit. It was beautiful. I love the color of the dress. I love how it fits her body. I love the, the, the styling. I love her hair. I love how she carried herself. She's literally a star and I'm liking every bit of it. I'm liking it. I really did like her dress. In fact, I'm going to nominate her dress as one of the best you know in the MVCs, I really did like her dress next on Alice's stature I really did like her dress I loved it I loved it there was just this smoky kind of watery feel it gave which is very pleasant and very relaxing I loved I, I don't know like who why oh my god I really did like her dress I'm gonna vote for it as my best as one of my best together with Nengi I really did like her dress we have Neo Neo had this green kind of 90s flair which is giving the vibes chills goosebumps and all the goodies and goodness I liked it I liked the way he carried himself I loved the styling I love the design of the dress I loved love loved it I'm going to vote for it as one of my best in the male category we also have Osaz I love her dress it wasn't too thrilling to be nominated as best dress in the AMVCA but it was okay but it was okay I liked it I liked it but to me Tatcha was doing it and giving it and even Nengi her still was giving it a very long train was giving me a wedding yet AMVCA's vibey kind of feel which I did like guys i'm just gonna be showing you a couple more pictures and you just look at them we have this we have that we have that good vibes it was a good event my eyes were fully fed and filled i liked what i did see there was a lot of black going on there a lot of green a lot of red but we like it all the same until next time it's your girl glory don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for amazing content don't forget to click the notification bell do enjoy stay blessed stay wonderful bye mm -hmm.